Hi, my name is uh, Moa Sawa, uh, Project Leader, Conservation and Education, EWS, WWF. I'm here with you today to talk about the camera tracking project we have in uh, Wadi Urea. Well, uh, Wadi Urea is a very unique area. It's the largest uh, natural water catchment area in UAE. And it's also, you can say, it's the home for quite a lot of the uh, endangered wildlife we have in the country and in the region. On top of this, uh, last year we had Wadi Urea listed as a Ramsar site, so it's a very important wetland area. Camera trap, think of it as like the speeding trap. When you overspeed, you get a photo of your car taken. It works the same thing. The camera trap has a motion sensor and a heat sensor. So far, we caught on the camera trap some very important animals. The Arabian thunder, which is really highly endangered because that only exists in UAE and Oman. Uh, on top of the Arabian Tahar, we have taken nice photos of uh, caracals. Now, caracals are endangered, but they're not uh, facing extensions. Then we have uh, nice photos of the Blandford fox, that's a rare fox. Uh, red fox, that's very common, plenty of those. We have also photos of the golden white cow, which was officially thought that went extinct from the mountains, but with the camera trap, we proved that this golden white cow is still there in the mountains. And, as usual, we have lots of photos of feral goats. Now, feral goats are not goats that are from UAE. They were introduced and they were, they used to belong to people who lived in those settlements before. Camera traps are very important because it's a way for us to prove that those animals are there. It's a supporting evidence beside collecting animal signs like droppings and uh, footmarks and uh, scratch marks. We support them with the camera traps. And if you work out the system, hopefully this is what we're working on, through camera traps you can do estimation of uh, population and distribution, active areas, less active areas, so it's, uh, it's an encyclopedia.